Hey, this video goes over why monopolies are bad for the consumer, a graphical example, and it's basically going to show how when a firm has monopoly power, the consumers get less quantity overall in the market and pay higher prices. So first of all, for a monopoly to have this power, it has to be the sole seller of a product and there can't be any close substitutes that people can purchase instead of it. So the monopoly controls the market, people can't choose other goods to buy. So typically, when we have perfect competition, we're going to be at the point where demand equals supply, or marginal benefit equals marginal cost, and we get this Q, we'll call it QPC for perfect competition, and a price, PPC. But what happens with a monopoly is they observe this demand curve and they know that they can restrict quantity and get a higher price or they can lower the price and sell more. So because of it, this fact, economists like to draw this marginal revenue curve. So what this marginal revenue curve means is it's if the monopoly sells one more unit of the good, they're going to make this much more revenue from selling that good. And this is derived from the demand curve. It's roughly twice the negative slope of the demand curve. But this is what the monopoly pays attention to. So with the monopoly, they actually produce where their marginal revenue is equal to their marginal cost. So what this means is the quantity they produce is significantly less than would be produced under perfect competition. Likewise, this is their cost, but what they can charge consumers ties with the demand curve. So we draw the line straight up from this intersection to the demand curve and then where that quantity hits the demand curve, which is where consumers, where they, we figure out how much they'll buy at a given price, we figure out the price a monopoly can charge to consumers, which is significantly higher. So the cost monopolies pay is lower the price they charge is higher and the quantity they give out is much lower. Well, not give out but sell, but you get it. And so what this means is that this rectangle right here, which is the price minus the cost for the monopoly times quantity, that whole rectangle there is going to be economic profit for the monopoly that's bad for consumers. For consumers, this whole area under the demand curve used to be consumer surplus. Now it's only this area here. So consumers have lost a huge area of consumer surplus. But if you don't understand that yet in economics, it's okay. We've just shown how with monopolies they can charge much higher prices and give out much lower quantity simply because they have market power.